I mean, how well dressed are you two? We're wow. matching. Really we're matching. Yeah. Run with it. We just met, but we're we're matching already. Yeah. So. I love this, and now you're BFFs. Yeah. We're getting along pretty okay. well. Yeah. yeah. So good. So Fear of day. commitment. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we obviously know each other. This is the <laughs> this is the first time we've met. Yes. But I'm fascinated by you. I'm fascinated by you, oh, girl. Stop it. <laughs> Torontonian. Yes. That's what's up. Yes. Um, I mean, you've both accomplished so, so much. But, Mina, you just recently moved to L.A., right? When did you move? Uh, beginning of 2017. Okay, so not I too moved. long. Not too long, yeah. Wow. But I hear that you had quite the interesting living situation when you moved yeah. here. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, you know how it is. You come from Toronto and you have to get a visa. Mm -hmm. So I was on my visa. I was working at a restaurant, saving up money, and I wanted it to last as long as I could, so... I got to L.A., and then a fellow Canadian was like, hey, I'm living in this two-bedroom house. The other bedroom's taken, but the closet is open. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, how much? I'll take it. So, uh... You legit lived in a closet. I did, yeah, and it was one of those ones where I mean, the... same, but different. What? No, carry on. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> I want to hear about that story. Um, it, you know, the roof was slanted, so I had to I had to lean every time I came out in the morning. It was a very humbling experience. Oh, it was Potter. good. That's what yes. I thought, too. I love yes. that. Yeah, I, I got a blow-up mattress from Target and snuck it in there. And, uh, and then I was like, the Egyptian in me was like, I have to take good care of this so I can return it out. <laughs> so I did. I took good care of it, and I returned it after I moved out. Wow. Sorry, Target. Sorry. Madeline, is it true that you were a hostess before you got cast on Riverdale? I had like a hundred jobs before Riverdale, Ooh, but what yes, were as a they? Hostess, Tell me. I was an executive assistant at a political consulting firm. Okay. I was a personal assistant to a photographer. I worked in a coffee shop. I worked as a hostess. Mm -hmm. I mean, the list goes on and on. Wow. But we're here to talk about the hostess. Okay, well, what was that like? Did you run into any celebrities? It was in LA, right? It was in LA. Okay. It was a very popular LA type place. And I actually have a funny story about an agent experience that I had before I booked Riverdale who didn't. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> who didn't. Okay, fine. If you insist. Uh, who didn't have a reservation, which mm -hmm. is like a big no no at a big LA restaurant. So I had to tell him that he couldn't be seated. And he did not like that and yelled at me in front of everybody there, told me that I would never work in the industry, what? called the restaurant the next day, trying to get me fired from my job. Oh my gosh. Then called the restaurant, asking for my information, when Riverdale came out. No! Wait, wait, so he remembered you? Remembered me, called asking for my information, now that Riverdale is on the air. Look at me now! Boom! <laughs> 